Hello, my name is Maria and this is Matthew, my mascot. In this lesson we're going to study bar graphs. That means graphs or, or pictures where we use these blocked looking things, rectangles. We use rectangles to show some information. The name of this graph is Matthew's socks. And white, black and brown, he has white and black and brown socks. But how many? The graph will tell us white socks. So there's a rectangle and how high does it reach? We go all the way up to the rectangle here to the top and check what number is here. Four. So Matthew has four white socks. How many white socks? Four. And then black. How many black socks does he have? Can you tell? Go to the top of the rectangle then go this way. Two. Two black socks. And brown socks Go all the way to the top, then over here, five brown socks. Matthew, how come you have five socks? Have five brown socks? You can't make pairs out of them? Uneven amount? Does that ever happen to you in your family? Oh, he used to have six, but one got so worn out, can't use it anymore. Okay, wonder how that happened. One sock got worn out when the other one in the pair didn't. How many more white socks does he have than black? How many more white than black? Okay, white are four socks. Let me write it here on top of this rectangle and then black he has two socks. So how many more white than black? How many more is four than two? It is two more. Another question, Matthew, how come you only have two black socks? You have four paws. <laughs> how many socks in all? How many socks altogether total does Matthew have? We need to add these numbers. There's four and two and five. Okay, for example, I'll add five and four. Five plus four, nine, and then two more. You count nine, 10, 11. 11 socks in all, okay. Math problems solved. Matthew has been really busy solving math problems. On Monday he solved this many problems. On Wednesday this many. On Friday not very many. What happened Matthew on Friday? He was busy. He had to go play basketball. There was no time to solve math problems. Just a few. How many problems did Matthew solve on Monday? Go all the way up to the top of this bar or top of this rectangle. 20 problems. And on Wednesday, go all the way up and then over here. This many. What number is it though? It's midway between 20 and 30. It is 25. And then on Friday, this many. 1, 2, 3, 4. Just 4 problems. How many in all? Now we would need to add these numbers. 20 plus 25 plus 4. And that's a challenging problem for a first grader. But I'll help you. Think of the 25 as 20 and 5. So we would have 20 and 20 and 5 and 4. So now if you had 20 and 20, that would make 40, right? And then 5 and 4 makes 9. So you have 40 from these two. And 9 from these two. That's 49. Yes, we got it solved. Well, thank you, Matthew, for, for giving us these nice problems. Well done with this lesson.